we have a home a couple of miles up the road, and about it's about 22 years ago, I think, we were driving past here, my wife and I, and uh, we saw a for sale sign. So my wife, whenever she sees a for sale sign, she drives in. She likes it. And it turned out that this was uh, originally a girl's sleepaway camp. Two weeks here, leave. Another two weeks, a uh, group comes in. Uh, kids from the, uh, like the uh, French Air Fund. And the couple who owned the place were at the point where the cold and the age and all of that was getting a bit much for them. And so they wanted to make a quick sale if they could. And so it's been about 22 years at this camp. But I've lived in this area, my home, uh, although we live in, also in Manhattan. That's where we're you know, from, the city. Uh, but uh, we feel like we're, we're uh, this is our home now. Uh, it's been, uh, oh my God, approximately 30 years. Being around boxing all my life, you know, you know all the kids. Like, the minute I saw you, you know, I remembered we met. Uh, so I, I, I remembered him, and uh, less that I, I didn't follow his career so much as to uh, when I heard that he beat uh, uh, Joey, Joey Reels. And uh, I thought, wow, he's, he's, he's really coming on. Judge Tom Schreck scores the bout, 96-94. And Judge Ron McNair scores the bout, 97-94. Both for your winner, by majority decision, and still the New York State Junior What I, first of all, the most important thing I like is I like him. He is, he is an absolute wonderful young man, nice kid, uh, kind of kid that I'm happy to have around. Uh, I don't like negative around me. And the, all my boys, as you can see, we're all fun, we all kid each other, we're all, there's no negativity here. Bad vibes, no good. So he's great there. And uh, uh, hell, he can fight. He can fight. He's a very, very, very uh, clever fighter, very smart. And here he, he, he only have a computer. Who are four and like he, he, he's asking me like, what's your name? I told him my name. He said, what's your record? Then he walks out and he, <laughs> come, he comes back. He's like, yeah, man. Like, like, why are you fighting a guy who's like one and um, I'm like, <laughs> he's a man. He said, you all my business. Yeah, like he's checking me out. I'm just talking to the guy. And he, he's checking out my background, sizing me up. You know what I mean? These guys, these guys are sneaks, man. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. To the guy he says, <laughs> saying, yeah, but I don't know who this cat is. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. you're the only dude, man. I can't take you no more, man. I can't do it.
know, so I always thought that me and him would get in, get in the ring and spar, but it's like, it's people just don't, like, you know, they don't want to do no rounds with me, but it's mm. all good, you know, we might get to face in the ring, like, one mm. day, you know, I do this guy, I'm Ali, you know what I'm saying, like, he, like, Edgar's, he's on my radar, you know what I mean, he's on my radar, so him, Paulie, you know what I mean, like, those two there on you my radar. Saying? How do you know Paulie? From like from like from Gleason's man, we done a few rounds and he got upset because you know I was knocking him around the ring, so you know we don't really get on, but it's whatever, it's it's all good, you know. That's one for the future. That's definitely one for the future. That's a call out on got those documentary. Yeah, you, you try to use try to use my try to use my <laughs> line like <to> his <laughs> line like. What is this all about? <laughs> 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 Look, Ashley's getting ready for a sparring at two o'clock. You have like another hour and a half, and he's putting hand wraps on and watching Pro Whitaker because that's who I kind of emulate sometimes. So this is sparring session, but you know he's trying to tell me I say hello, <laughs> I say hello, and I try to figure him out, and he always watching Pro Whitaker and putting hand wraps on, trying to figure me out. So he goes hand in hand. That's what we do in camp, you know what I mean? But he, this is a this is a boxing thing, not person. I loved him to death, yo. We had a good time. I did Friday, and he goes this way, I go mine. But we definitely had a good time here, man. Good advice, good laughter. <laughs> He's over here, got his hand wraps on, watching Pernod Whitaker <laughs> an hour before the sparring session. <laughs> Cause they know, they know, they know I'm a beast in that ring. I'm laughable, and you can get over sometimes on me, but in that ring, it's all mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Hey, what Stan. As I arrive, what are you doing as, with this camera? As I arrive, as I arrive to the house, right? Ashley, it's funny. Ashley's all wrapped up and wants to put a Whitaker's fight. I was like, "Are you trying to get ready for me or something?" <laughs> God, he's checking. He's, he's checking. Yeah. Was, <laughs> so I was, was joking. And then, and then he said, and then he said, when I first met Ashley, Ashley, I said, "Hello, Ashley. What's your name?" He goes, "Ashley Feel Pain." So I immediately, at my BlackBerry, I can check the internet and check the box rec. So I know he's, he, he told me he's a 140 pounder. I was like, hmm. So I checked it and his record's near mine. So it's funny how as soon as he told me his name, I checked it up and see that we're on the same level. And then he over here today, he has the wraps on and watching Pernod Whitaker and shit for sparring. I would like him up here uh, to work anytime he wants. Doesn't have to be coming up here uh, to, to spar for somebody else. If he wants to come up here to spar for himself, uh, I would be happy to give it to him because uh, he's worth everything. I don't think he allows himself to go in feeling he's a sparring partner. I think he goes in to hone his skills, and that's a must. If you go in with the sparring partner mentality, that is true. Uh, eventually, you'll fight like a sparring partner. And that's to not get over on the other guy. But he, he wants to win, as evidenced by his fight with Joey Rio. Oh, 
Come on, Phil. Hey, Phil. Change your name to Gato Loco. Gato Loco. Yeah, man, he's like a fucking bull, bull man. Like, wherever I fucking step, he's in my face, so it's making me work, he's hitting me hard. It's the shit I need, man, so it's all good. It's all good. Much love. Yeah, any sparring that's to come up, you guys know who you are. You know, guys, know who's called sparring man right here. Same way, class, I'm still sparring him. That's how we do, baby. Team Gato Spars and fight to whoever. That's how we do it.